Cataracts cloud Miriam Wathira's world, leaving her almost blind. In this remote and poor part of Kenya, there are no opticians to pick up the problem. 90% of the world's blind and visually impaired live like this, far beyond the reach of treatment. For these researchers, even trying to assess the problem means mobilizing large teams and expensive equipment. But a solution might be at hand. Much of the equipment that you can see in here that's used by an ophthalmologist or an optician normally to examine someone's eye, we've now boiled down to, to using on something like this. At the London School of Hygiene and Tropical yep. Medicine, Andrew Basterus has designed a phone app which he thinks will be a cheap and simple way to vision. A lot of the hospitals are able to provide cataract surgery, which is the most common cause of blindness, but actually getting the patients to the hospital is the problem. And what we can do using this is technicians can go to the patients, to their home or examine and diagnose them there and then. The app on this phone is designed so that anyone can use it. I've had five minutes training, so I'm going to put it to the test on Andrew. First, the smartphone's camera is used to look for cataracts. Working out which way the shrinking letter is pointing, how well someone can see. And finally, a clip-on attachment lets the phone look at the, the back retina of the for disease. Back on the dirt tracks of Kenya, healthcare workers are already using the kit. 5,000 pairs of eyes, including Miriam's, are being examined with the phone and standard eye exams. But do they give the same results? Analysts here at Moorfields Eye Hospital are pouring over both sets of images to ensure the phone is giving the right diagnosis. Experts say vision loss is curable in 80% of people, that a simple way of finding them would be a massive breakthrough. This is potentially a game changer and could make a huge If someone is a vision impaired, it has a huge impact on that individual, but also on their family. Uh, if you're a breadwinner and you can't see, you can't work, then the whole family is in crisis. The phone helped find Miriam's cataracts and she was taken for surgery which has transformed her eyesight. Millions more are waiting for treatment. This trial will show whether something as simple as